fight for win after win, hoping to make the playoffs and win your championship. NFP is here to make it happen, but are you ready? This is Heidi Harris, the voice of the NFL Fantasy Playbook. We have all your fantasy info, including access to our Big Brother site, fantasyfootballsearch.com. All right, fantasy fans, put the kids to bed, because here's AJ Pelche, one of your co-hosts from Fantasy Football Tonight, and his latest video rant. Hey everyone, AJ Pelcher here, and I am back in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. That's right. You know what? There was no snow like I thought there might be on my last uh, rant from Las Vegas. But I'll tell you this right now, it's been a heat wave here. I I can't uh, escape the heat. I could actually use a cool day. Anyways, long story short, here what we're going to do today is I'm going to give you some of the picks some of my matchup uh, situations, and also my rant. We're going to start with uh, the, the picks. I'm, I'm going to be going the two games of the week. We've got the Giants and Dallas. That's a game of the week. And New Orleans and Philadelphia. That's a game of the week. Those are the two games to watch. And you know what? Luckily enough for, us, uh, for everyone, we can watch them both. Now, the thing is, I look for New Orleans to beat Philly. They got a quarterbacking situation there. Not sure if Philly's defense, although they looked great last week, but that was Christmas getting to play Jake DeLome last week. And uh, this week, I look for Dallas to beat the Giants. You know what? This series is tied to 5-5 in the last five years, and I look for Dallas to win this game as Tony Romo's Mr. September. You know, how many games does he lose in September? Barely any. He's won his, in the last five, or his last years, what, two, three years, he's won eight. So make that nine. Uh, we'll, we'll talk again in December on what his numbers might be like coming up in December. Now, as for other games, I'm looking for uh, Houston to really actually fall off again. Tennessee is going to take care of them. This is going to be quite the thing. I do believe that Houston might have been reading too many of their own press clippings. I think they didn't realize they had to show up and win these games everybody expected them to. They looked terrible in preseason. They looked terrible in week one. And Tennessee's not going to make it easy on them in week two. So look there. I think Oakland will make uh, KC really pay for some of their early success last week against Baltimore. And the other thing, I look for San Diego to beat Baltimore simply because, you know what, they're Rex Ryan less and that defense did not look right. Tell me this, would Baltimore have given up that many points to KC last year? No, and KC is not the same team last year. They were even a better team last year. So, okay, that's a few of my rants on uh, these uh, games here. Now I'm going to go to some of my uh, sleeper picks. Sleeper picks are what everybody's looking for. Quarterback, I've got Jason Campbell. Jason Campbell's playing against St. Louis. I look for him to be able to put up some points there. I got him ranked number 12 for this week. If you need a quarterback because you might have uh, Donovan McNabb, he might be available. He might be playable. I look for him to be able to put some points up at home. I also got Washington as my number one defense, thanks to St. Louis's lack of uh, ability of scoring. They, did, they just don't got it. Uh, it's too bad because I got uh, Steven Jackson in a few of my drafts, and that's killing me. Um, now I'm also looking at uh, a sleeper play. With, uh, let's see, tight end, uh, Brent Selleck. I got him at number 10, which is not a bad play. He might even be able to move up to number 6 in this week if Philadelphia uses him as much as I think they will against New Orleans. Philly, whoever's throwing the ball, might use him as a security blanket because somebody's going to have to do something. They might not have the time that they would need given that this is their first start. All right, so that's uh, my sleeper tight end. I also got Dustin Keller at number 11. I like Dustin Keller. This guy's going to give you consistent numbers. Mark Sanchez is going to like this guy. They're going to gain, uh, gain a bond for each other that are definitely going to be able to produce some fantasy numbers. Shanko will stay falling off. Uh, I think, I don't know, I, I was a little too ambitious on Shanko right now. I think it's still the Adrian Peterson show, and it will be very early. And then there's just going to be a nice coast in the second half against Detroit there. So uh, I'm not uh, giving too many people advice to play Shaco. Of course, this will be the week he blows up. 
But anyways, uh, what we'll do is I, I got a sleeper defense in the Oakland Raiders. They're playing KC, not buying into the fact they scored 28 points or 24 points, whatever they did last week against Baltimore. Uh, now, they're not going to do that against Oakland. Oakland's defense is pretty strong, and they're mean, and they make sure everybody limps off the field, as you can tell by the San Diego uh, injury list. Uh, and then another sleeper defense I already mentioned was Washington, ranked number one. I uh, look for them. Atlanta, uh, Christmas has come early possibly as they get to play Carolina. So look for them to potentially produce a lot of picks. Running backs. Well, I got Fred Jackson at number seven for this week. Uh, you know, he is just going to run, run, run against Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is going to give him lots of room. Dallas didn't take advantage of it last week. Don't know why they didn't use their run game. They wanted to show off Tony Romo or something. I don't know. So anyways, uh, as it was a Tony Romo career day, it was a low day for their running game. That's for sure. I look for Buffalo to uh, run the ball in order to try to gain some space. And then T.O., I got him ranked as the fifth top wide receiver. He is going to probably get into the end zone a couple of times in this one. All right, another sleeper running back. I got Michael Bush at 14. I think he's going to get a couple of short calls to run into the end zone. Uh, this guy got one last week. He's going to be a consistent producer of touchdowns, so look for him out of Oakland. Leon Washington, I think, will have a big week. Uh, not smashing, but uh, I think he will definitely outrun uh, Thomas Jones, who was just lucky to be able to escape a couple of times there. Brian Westbrook, I do predict, will be back. He will be used quite a bit in this game and will uh, see some regular fantasy numbers. As for your wide receivers, I've got Santonio Holmes at number four. That's right. I'm now a Santonio Holmes lover. Oh, my God. He looked like the real deal there on that opening game. I look for him to be a top five wide receiver this, week, or this year. Uh, so, you know, if you can go trade for him, Maybe the guy who owns him is a sucker. You never know. As in for guys, I got Mark Clayton at 13. As they play San Diego, San Diego can be beat uh, in the air. So I, I look for them to be able to uh, get to Mark Clayton. Uh, Lee Evans I got at 15. And then I got Devery Henderson at 18. I got him now as the number two wide receiver in New Orleans, even though he produced number one numbers last week. Um, now, the other guy that enters is Bernard Berrien. I think he's going to get hit. He might be a little healthier, but check the status on him. That concerns me. Percy Harvin is definitely uh, Brett Favre's little pet project, I do believe, there. And as of the guy who's going to fall off this week, I look for Patrick Creighton to fall down. He's, got, uh, he's fallen to, for me at number 29 simply because it's going to be the Roy Williams show there when they go in the air. They, they're going to need Roy to show up against the Giants as they win this one. I got Roy Williams at number 12. That's some of my picks. If you want to see the full extent of them, go to fantasyfootballsearch.com. Go get the War Room Draft Kit. Everybody gives a consensus pick there. You'll see what we all combine together will look like. All right, that's it for this week. Go to fantasyfootballsearch.com for oodles of information. You can get a season's pass there with all everyday injury report and also up-to-date blogs during all the games most importantly you'll be able to get all the information you need to win this week every week and win the championship that's it for now see you next week <laughs>